Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. We recently visited the Robinson helicopter plant at Torrance, California near Los Angeles. And to walk the factory floor, you would never guess there's a recession on. The place is literally buzzing with activity. But Robinson told us that looks can be deceiving. Sales are generally down over a year ago, and the foreign sales that Robinson has traditionally depended on are off by double digits. But here's something that surprised us. In one market segment, the popular R-44 piston helicopter is much in demand over the turbine competition. Here's Kurt Robinson. What we have found actually in the last few years, uh, we've been actually producing the R-44 newscopter since 1997. But in the last few years, our sales have actually been starting to increase um, quite substantially. And a lot of that is, in fact, to just basic economics and what's going on around the world today is that these TV stations can no longer afford to each own their own expensive turbine news copter that is doing the job. So they have been looking to either pooling or downsizing. And because the ENG equipment itself has been getting much smaller and lighter, it has actually just uh, kind of walked its way into our, our, our ballpark and what we do best. So we are seeing our sales of the news copters lately have been very strong. The uh, R44 news copter, when we developed it um, back in 97, our, our first thought was that it was just going to be add-on equipment that you'd be able to take either police equipment, a ball, or a news copter equipment and just install it in the helicopter, possibly even be able to do it in the field. As we have worked on it over the years, we realize that it's much, much more specialized than that. Um, in order to get the aerodynamics of, of installing the ball correctly, in order to get the weight down, to get the balance, um, we have realized that we had to take a regular 44 and then pretty much from the get-go, we had to do structural changes and changes to the cabin itself in order to make it a specialized helicopter. And to this day, what we have found and what we have now evolved into is a uh, um, a quite a complex um, technological marvel, if you will, when you start looking at all the equipment and how we've done it. Um, if you go and look at the actual camera mount itself in the nose, you'll see it's all streamlined and tucked in. You'll see to offset the weight, we, we move the battery back to the tail so that that way they could, um, they could counteract each other instead of just half um, being forced to just add dead weight to the tail because with our in our platform, weight and cost are a premium, so we want to keep both of those down to the minimum. Um, we have actually mounted lipstick cameras right uh, immediately on the tail. We've done the wiring and the shielding that is necessary when you're talking about trying to transmit, you know, 60, 70 miles, um, and then also be able to talk on your on your regular um, comm radios and do a lot of things at once. We actually have people that that are doing both an a, a television broadcast, live broadcast, or somebody in another seat may actually be doing a, a radio broadcast, and they can be doing this simultaneously. The, the current camera that's installed in the, H, in the news copter is the uh, HDL20 that's manufactured by Ikigami. Um, we take that camera and we pretty much take it apart and put it in our own, in our own ball. We separate um, a lot of the components and put them in a, a CPU that goes under the seat, but then the actual camera itself is then put in a gyro-stabilized um, uh, camera ball that's matched with a Canon HD lens, which is a 22x lens, and then has a 2x extender, so you therefore get um, a 44 to 1 magnification on the camera. One of the interesting things that'll, uh, that'll occur here is as we come out with a turbine aircraft in the next year or so, um, I actually expect to sell more of the of the R44 news copters, mainly because I can look at a TV station and say, well, I can I can do this all in a turbine package, but your price is going to be double, okay? Or I can do it here. This is really what you need. This is this is what will um, this will get you that picture that's on the TV screen that everybody needs to see. Um, so more than likely, people will stay with the with the R44 particularly when you look at the way the equipment is going and smaller and lighter. You just don't need a big, heavy platform like you used to. You can find out more by logging on to robinsonheli.com. For more aviation news, log on to abweb.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for Abweb. Thanks for watching.